January 21, Stepping Out of Faith But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, New King James Version I don't know about you, but I tend to be a little stubborn. There are also times where I don't like to listen to others because I think I know what is best for my life. Back in my high school days, Dad and I were having a conversation about my university degree and future career path. I have always liked helping people can stomach gross things, and I'm fascinated by the unusual. So it was obvious, nursing was going to be my career. However, Dad counseled me back then to do teaching because he thought I would be good at it. Dad was a teacher in Chile and then became a pastor in Australia, so his bias was evident. However, I always shed away from teaching opportunities because it didn't fit into my plans. Have you ever done that? Fast forward 14 years, I am a registered nurse with a specialty in wound care management and stomach therapy where teaching has been part of my daily job for the past seven years. In 2014, I decided to undertake a Master's of Clinical Leadership degree with adult education to improve my skill and knowledge. I successfully completed the degree in 2016. And it's amazing how the doors of teaching keep coming. Some opportunities were forced upon me. And other times, I decided to say yes despite my lack of confidence. Now let me explain. Every time I had to teach, my stomach would be in knots. I was so nervous. But I would silently pray, God, you are opening the door for me to teach, so you need to help me. Please give me peace and let it be your glory. As soon as I opened my mouth, my fear disappeared. My hands stopped shaking, and somehow, I would talk and talk and talk, and not have to look at my notes. When I walk out of my class, I would be overwhelmed at how much I was beginning to like teaching. Over the past couple of years, the doors kept opening for teaching where I have even taught medical doctors but I also regularly teach medical students. What I have learned from this newfound God-given love of teaching is the importance of listening to my father's wise counsel. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 7. But more importantly, listening to God when He starts calling me to do the impossible. Or so I thought. God can make the impossible happen if we are prepared to step out in faith. He will sustain you and never let you fall. Jenny Rivera